Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations to King Salman, wishing him abundant health and happiness and long life, as well as further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Saudi people under his leadership. His Majesty the King expressed pride and the deep-rooted, solid, fraternal relations between the two kingdoms and their peoples, affirming Bahrain's constant keenness to continue strengthening its fruitful cooperation and joint action with Saudi Arabia within the ongoing robust strategic partnership between the two kingdoms in a way that benefits their people. His Majesty King Hamad praised the approach adopted by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to enhance economic development and prosperity across the region in a way that ensures security, stability, and peace for all. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques. King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud on the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his pride in the long-standing relations between the two kingdoms and their people, affirming Bahrain's commitment to further bolster cooperation with Saudi Arabia within the ongoing strategic partnership to achieve mutual goals and aspirations that benefit both countries and their people. His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's commitment to enhancing economic development and prosperity across the region to ensure security, stability and peace under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is celebrating the 93rd anniversary since its establishment by the founding king, King Abdul Aziz Al Saud, marking the succession to the era of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, along with the efforts of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The occasion also highlights the kingdom's journey of development and growth in various fields, as well as its active and influential role within the Arab and global fold to achieve prosperity and peace for all. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh affirmed that the 93rd National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is an important occasion to shed light on Saudi's honorable history, continuous efforts and positive initiatives to enhance security and stability. He expressed pride in the strong and deep-rooted relation binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, stressing the care and support received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his brother, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, as well as the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his brother, His Royal Highness. Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Chairman Al Saleh commended the kingdom's elevated and steadfast position, hailing its pivotal and leading role, as well as its political, economic, and social influence in the region and on the global scale. He also highlighted Saudi Arabia's economic, political, and cultural momentum, where the Trajectories of Renaissance, development and prosperity are further enriched. Bahrain-Saudi relations have always been a source of pride for the two brotherly people and were built on honorable and authentic stances and principles. More details in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are connected by historical brotherhood and strategic partnership based on strong foundations of interconnection, cooperation, understanding and coordination. These strong relations facilitated the beginning of the joint process of development and progress decades ago. 
Over these decades, Bahraini-Saudi relations have formed a model of historical brotherhood and growing partnership and reached their highest levels during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The process of Bahraini-Saudi cooperation is moving forward toward further growth to increase the achievements of joint work as a result of the royal patronage and the directives of the leaders of the two countries, which makes it a model to be emulated in relations between brotherly countries that aim to build on achievements based on common visions and for the interests of the two kingdoms. The unified visions contributed to building an integrated and exemplary base of distinguished relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and opened promising and broader horizons in all fields and at all levels. The distinguished bilateral relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia reflected the high levels of rapprochement, coordination and cooperation towards all Arab, regional and international issues of common interest. More details in this report. Over the course of successive historical eras, relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have reflected high levels of rapprochement and coordination regarding all Arab, regional and international issues of common interest based on the commonalities that stem from the neighboring geographical location and the shared language, religion, history and kinship ties. This unity is represented by their membership in the Gulf Cooperation Council, the Arab League, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and the United Nations, in addition to their membership in many regional and global organizations, councils, and authorities. The dedicated efforts and enlightened thought of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister contributed to achieving the two countries' shared vision toward further growth, peace, and rapprochement. The pivotal role played by Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in the Gulf, Arab and Islamic region has contributed significantly to achieving peace, prosperity and growth in the world based on their fraternal duty and their belief in the justice of stances through coordination and cooperation to support brotherly and friendly countries and confront challenges in order to achieve the interests of the two countries and the peoples of the world. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are witnessing a promising economic development and continuous cooperation towards achieving economic integration. The two kingdoms seek to support all economic cooperation frameworks through many initiatives aimed at achieving common interests. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are witnessing continuous development in bilateral relations, which has accelerated and significantly enhanced economic growth at all levels. The two countries are working on many initiatives to achieve the desired economic integration by establishing a specialized fund for investment in Bahrain worth around $5 billion, which opens the way for the Bahraini and Saudi private sectors to offer promising investment opportunities in a way that raises the level of available capabilities. The initiative to establish a joint Bahraini-Saudi Business Council had a great impact in strengthening the approach to economic work between the two countries. In 2021, the Council announced the start of preparing a feasibility study for establishing a multidisciplinary Saudi-Bahraini holding company with the aim of establishing joint investment projects. Manama and Riyadh are witnessing a continuous increase in the volume of intra-trade in addition to a steady increase in the volume of trade exchange year after year. The report issued by the Information and E-Government Authority for Foreign Trade Statistics for July of 2023 indicated that Saudi Arabia ranked first in terms of the volume of export of national origin with a value of up to 63 million dinars. In order to diversify the areas of economic cooperation, at the beginning of this year, Manama and Riyadh announced signing a Memorandum of Understanding for Cooperation in the Field of Tourism, with the aim of promoting the two kingdoms as a single tourist destination which contributes to achieving the visions of the two brotherly countries for 2030.
the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Bahrain, has contributed in achieving economic growth, strengthening relations between the two kingdoms and supporting all the efforts that unite the joint action to confront all the challenges. More in this report. A well-established and extended history of cooperation and integration brought together the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that stemmed from the keenness of the leaderships of the two countries in which the bilateral relations assumed a distinguished and advanced position in various fields in light of a common desire to put visions and aspirations into practice which resulted in a number of projects. The major investment project in the Kingdom of Bahrain, through which the Coordination Council, headed by the Crown Princes and Prime Ministers of the two countries, assigned the relevant ministers from both sides to coordinate among themselves to make decisions and urge the continuity of all projects with the required time and quality. In light of the initiatives emanating from the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, the relations are witnessing progress and prosperity and are considered a model of brotherhood and strategic partnership based on the visions of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques, and these visions aim to benefit the two brotherly countries and their peoples. Various ministries, government institutions and entities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia participated in the National Day celebrations throughout the Kingdom. The Saudi Ministry of Interior, in cooperation with the General Entertainment Authority, performed a military march which was held at Riyadh Front as part of Pride of the Nation 2 activities, which included special performances by Saudi female soldiers that included various displays with different marches together with the participation of security and military personnel. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority organized an array of events marking the Saudi National Day, celebrated annually on September the 23rd, given the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and their people at all levels. On this occasion, the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Dr. Nasser Al-Qaidi, said the authority was keen to distribute various activities to the largest possible number of tourist attractions in Bahrain, including commercial complexes, beaches, and more, in order to spread the joy and patriotic spirit among Saudi visitors and the Bahraini society alike, under the slogan, Delighted to See You. Dr. Al-Qaidi welcomed all Saudi visitors and tourists coming to participate in Bahrain's various celebrations, including tourist concerts, traditional performances, and various activities in various regions, expressing the confidence that these events will attract visitors from within Bahrain and from the Gulf countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, delivered the Kingdom of Bahrain speech before the United Nations General Assembly at its 78th session in New York. In his address, he stressed the keenness of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to build bridges of cooperation and to enhance strategic partnership with friendly countries and allied countries in order to maintain peace, security and stability and provide a safe, prosperous and sustainable environment for the benefit of the people of the world. وَلَقَدْ أَكَّدَتْ مَمْلَكَةِ الْبَحْرَيْنِ بِقِيَادَةِ حَضْرَ الصَّاحِبِ الْجَلَالِ الْمَلِكِ حَمِدْ بِنْ عِيسَى الْخَلِيفَةِ مِنِكِ الْبِلَادِ الْمُعَظَّمِ وَتَوَجِّهَاتِ الْحَكُومَةِ بِرِئَاسِ الصَّاحِبِ السَّمُوءِ الْمَلِكِ الْأَمِيرِ سَلْمَانِ بِنْ حَمِدْ الْخَلِيفَةِ وَلِيِّ الْعَهْدِ رَئِيسِ مَجْلِسِ الْوَزَرَاءِ فِي جَمِيعِ مَوَاقِفِهَا الدِّبْلُومَاسِيَّةِ وَجُهُورِهَا الْعَمَلِيَّةِ تَمَسَّكَهَا بِقِيَامِهَا الْإِنْسَانِيَّةِ وَالْحَضَارِيَّةِ الرَّاسِخَةِ الْمُتَوَافِقَةِ مَعَ أَهْدَافِ مِثَاقِ الْأُمَمِ الْمُتَحَدَّةِ وَمَبَادِئِ الْقَانُونِ الدُّولِي وحرصها على مد جسور التعاون الدولي وتعزيز الشراكات الاستراتيجية مع الدول الصديقة والحليفة من أجل الحفاظ على السلم والأمن والاستقرار. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also stressed that the signing of the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement with the United States of America is evidence of the Kingdom's firm strategic approach in support of peace and stability in the region. عندما شاهدنا 
قبل أيام في واشنطن من تفضل صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء بتوقيع الاتفاقية الشاملة للتكامل الأمني والازدهار سي سيفا مع الصديق الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية له دليل على النهج الاستراتيجي الثابت لمملكة البحرين الداعم للسلام والاستقرار في المنطقة والمرتكز على الارتباط القائم بين الأمن والازدهار ارتباطاً وثيقاً لتحقيق التقدم المنشود في كافة مسارات التنمية في عالم تزداد فيه التحديات يوماً بعد يوم We draw the attention of our viewers that we will present the full recording of the Kingdom of Bahrain speech before the United Nations General Assembly at its 78th session immediately after the news bulletin. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs also met at the United Nations headquarters in New York with the first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Serbia, Vica Dakicic, on the sideline of the 78th session of the General Assembly. The two sides discuss the ways to promote bilateral cooperation between Bahrain and Serbia in various fields to serve the mutual interests of the two countries. They also exchange views on regional and international developments and a number of issues of common concern. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs met at the UN headquarters, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Bolivia, Rogelio Maila on the sideline of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The two sides discussed aspects of cooperation and joint coordination between the two countries in various fields and the ways to promote bilateral relations in addition to discussing issues of common concern. They also signed a joint statement to establish diplomatic relations between the two countries to serve their common interests. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs met at the United Nations headquarters, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Dominican Republic, Roberto Alvarez, on the sideline of the 78th session of the General Assembly. The two sides discussed the relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries and their development at all levels. They also signed a memorandum of understanding on political consultations to promote cooperation between the two countries. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Washington, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain, to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faris Al Rawai, and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Minister. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs also met at the United Nations headquarters in New York, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Brazil, Mauro Vieira on the sideline of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed the remarkable relations of friendship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Federative Republic of Brazil and the advanced level of bilateral cooperation in all fields. They discussed the aspects of bilateral cooperation in the economic, trade and investment fields and means of developing it at all levels to meet the aspirations of the two countries in addition to a number of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faris Arwe'i, and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Minister. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abd Latif bin Rajda Zayani, met at the mission of Singapore in New York City, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Singapore, Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan on the sideline of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The two ministers discussed the long-standing and close relations of friendship between Bahrain and Singapore in light of the joint keenness to further develop them to serve the mutual interest. They also exchanged views on a number of issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met in New York City, the Minister of External Affairs of the Republic of India, Dr. Subramaniam Jaishankar, uh, on the sideline of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The two sides discussed the solid, long-standing friendship relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India, their development in various fields and the ways to promote and advance them in more comprehensive levels to meet the common interests. They also reviewed a number of regional and international issues of common concern. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, 
participated in the ministerial meeting on financing arrangements to respond to losses and damages, which was held at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The Minister of Oil and Environment delivered a speech during the meeting in which he stressed the need to remove all obstacles that stand in the way of rapid and effective access to financial and technical resources to reduce the losses and damages resulting from climate change. He also noted the need to reach practical outcomes that can be adopted during the upcoming conference of the parties COP28, which is hosted by the United Arab Emirates in order to achieve climate security and sustainable development goals. Thank you, Your Excellency. The Kingdom of Bahrain would like to express their thanks and appreciation to the presidency of COP27 and to you, Your Excellency, the president of COP28, to make this happen today. The new funding arrangement, especially the new fund for loss and damage, are not an asp aspir aspiration, but realities of hope and support for many. We require new additional, predictable, and adequate financial resources for loss and damage, and eliminating the bureaucratic hurdle that stand in the way of swift and efficient access to resources when they are needed the most. Your Excellency, the operationalization of a new fund and funding arrangement that COP28 are critical to success, and we encourage a strong outcome by the Transitional Committee, and would like to thank them for the work they're doing that can be adopted smoothly by parties at COP28. We urge all parties to forge, to forge a future that upholds our collective commitment to combat climate change and ensure that no one is left behind. Thank you, Your Excellency. The Kingdom of Bahrain advanced in the 2023 Global Talent Ranking issued by the International Institute for Management Development. As the Kingdom's performance improved by eight places to rank 27th globally out of 64 countries. This improvement was supported by the Kingdom's advanced results in many indicators included in the classification which measures the extent to which countries de attract, develop and retain talent. The Kingdom advanced 60 places to rank second globally in the Labour Force Growth Index. The Kingdom advanced 23 places to rank 10th globally within the Talent Readiness Pillar. The Kingdom of Bahrain also ranked in the top 10 globally among seven different indicators, including the Index of Availability of Skilled Workers. The Kingdom topped the countries of the Middle East and North Africa region in the Index of Availability of Financial Skills and was ranked 6th globally. It also was ranked 6th globally in the Language Skills Index. The Kingdom of Bahrain ranked 19th globally in the Employee Training Index. The General Secretariat of the Shura Council, in partnership with the Bahrain Institute of Political Development, organized a discussion session for members of the Shura Council on Professional Development professional management of digital media within the parliamentary skills program. The session included two main topics related to security aspect and digital marketing, in addition to direct practical applications. The course included the definition of cybersecurity and electronic attacks, how to secure social media accounts, preventing social media account disabling, in addition to how to document private accounts, ways to use the account in the best way and protect accounts from electronic attacks.